all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel man today we have a raptors first balls recap video this one's tough man <laughs> anytime a couple of my teams play each other it's always a little bit tough if you guys didn't know i live here in chicago uh but i also post a bunch of toronto raptors videos so you know unfortunately raptor nation i was rooting for the bulls in this one i am sorry but uh, when the final buzzer clicked and, uh, you know, the Raptors won this basketball game, first off, they deserved it. And second off, um, it's all good. You know, it's all good, man. Thank it's, it's also not the playoffs, so that definitely helps. But welcome back to the channel, man. Uh, we post Raptors videos just about every single day, um, sometimes two times a day, sometimes even three times a day. I also post NBA content every single day. So Raptors Nation, I have a task for you guys. If we could get this video to 127 likes for how many points they scored tonight against the Bulls, I think that would honestly put this video on the YouTube recommendation page and get us the 20 subscribers away from 10,000. I'm kind of sick of saying we're 20 subs away from 10,000. So I appreciate all the love, all the comments, all the likes for the algorithm. It really helps it out. Every every single like helps out the algorithm in ways no one can really understand. So I appreciate all you guys. Uh, the Raptors, they won this game in overtime tonight to get to four straight wins. We're, you know, this was a good win, man. You know, this was a good win. Uh, Ken Birch also came back. I uh, only you know, played five minutes, so... You know, we haven't really talked about Kem in today's video. Uh, but I think one thing I really noticed about the Raptors tonight is they're just clearly, clearly lacking a bench. I mean, I'm so sick of saying this every single video that this team doesn't have a bench. Uh, but shout out to Precious Achua and then shout out to Chris Boucher. I was really confused when Nick Nurse took Scotty Barnes out of overtime and put in Chris Boucher, but then literally... I was already telling my roommate that, and then the next possession, Chris Boucher forces a turnover. So I'm like, there must be a method to the madness. Uh, this prob this overtime probably does not happen unless Scotty Barnes exists. I mean, it does definitely doesn't happen unless Scotty Barnes exists. He, I don't know how. What was it? Point. I think it was 0.07 seconds were left on the clock when Scotty Barnes, in regulation to end regulation, puts back a Fred Van Vliet tip in. Also, shout out to Freddy for getting to his first all-star bid. I already made a video on that if you want to go check it out. But man, Scotty Barnes, dude, uh, literally, like I said, with 0.07 seconds left, tips the basketball in, and um, that was crazy. I mean, that was absolutely crazy. But you know, Chris Boucher, man, a lot of love to this man. Plus 15 tonight, 16 points, 10 rebounds, uh, efficient, 8 of 14 from the field. Played some good defense throughout the whole game. Played some great defense to end the basketball game. Uh, but it's clear, and what sucks about the Raptors' situation right now is Chris Boucher is kind of that dude who's up in the air. This is the final year of his contract, and you gotta, like, if you're the Raptors' front office, you kind of gotta be thinking, like, all right. Do we bring him back on like a one-year kind of make it or break it contract? Do we trade him now if he's not a part of the future and just try and get as much as we can for him? The bad thing for Chris Boucher is he started the season off just doggy desperate. So his trade value is not what it's going to be compared to last season when he was just like Mr. Consistent off of the bench and even starting once Pascal uh, went down for the year. So... That's the situation, is Chris Boucher is essentially, and you know, I give love to Delano Bant, Precious Achua, and Cam Birch. You know, like I said, this was Cam's first game back. Delano Bant doesn't really play too much anymore, and Precious Achua is just kind of recently coming back from an injury. A lot of love to Precious, though, five points, 11 rebounds. But both of those two big men, Precious and Chris, they're not enough. They're not like that go-to guy cough cough Goran Dragic um to kind of just con like control the bench just control the bench like a Ricky Rubio I talked about uh Ricky Rubio earlier today in my Raptors video saying if the Raptors had a player like Ricky Rubio that's really all you need a guy like Rubio kind of makes everybody better finds everybody in their spots but the biggest issue with the bench for the Raptors is just I mean, honestly, it's perimeter shooting. It's just any type of scoring that doesn't include the paint when the guy's name isn't Chris Boucher. I mean, Chris Boucher is relatively uh, versatile on the offensive end, mainly gets his points done in the paint or around the rim. 
you know, Precious Achua is on the right track, but you get nights like this where he's two a nine from the field, you know, to even to take a three, like it's so clear who to stop when it comes to the Raptors bench. And, you know, Nick Nurse has actually done a really fine job, I feel like, for kind of what he has um, just kind of putting rotations out there together. So, you know, a lot of a lot of credit goes to Nick Nurse. But you look at the Raptors starting five, and you know, we talk about this all the time on this channel, and it's like, it is literally so freaking good. Pascal Siakam, 25 points, 13 rebounds, seven assists, two steals, and a block. OG Ananobi, first off, five of eight from downtown. OG Ananobi, um, especially that, that overtime three, oh my God. God, the balls on this kid. This guy's 24, right? Let's just remember this. OG Ananobi's 24 years old. Like, this is just the start here. Uh, 21 points for OG, six assists. He loved to see it. Scotty B. Barnes, 21 points, eight rebounds. Uh, threw in a block as well. Fred Van Lee, 21 points, nine assists, two steals. So if you can't kind of grasp what I'm, what I'm telling y'all, is I just named four players on the Raptors that scored 20 points. That was, that was four dudes who just scored 20 plus points. And 20 times eight or 20 times four would be 80. We're not even talking about Gary Trent Jr. Gary Trent Jr. tonight gave us 16 points. I just said the word us. Gary Trent Jr. gave the Raptors tonight 16 points. But I'm not like a non-Raptors fan, so I don't, I don't know why I'm saying that. Gary Trent Jr. 16 points tonight. 80 plus 15, which we're being kind of generous, or we're, we're not even being generous. Yeah, we're being kind of generous because Gary Trent Jr. usually almost all the time scores more than 15 points. I would say the reason his average is kind of around, you know, obviously a little above 15 points. The reason of that is sometimes he'll just go on like these ice cold shooting stretches. Um, but I mean, that's not kind of like a roast. I'm not trying to roast Gary Trent Jr. Shooters just shoot, man. Shooters just shoot. Like, sometimes you're really feeling it. Like, he just had five straight 30-point games. Other times, you're not. But for the most part, Gary Trent will give you double digits. So let's do double digits, and let's be really kind of generous here. The Raptors starting five, 90 points. You should win the basketball game, man. You should win the basketball game. It shouldn't go to overtime, and you should comfortably win this basketball game. At no point today... Did I, did I think to myself comfortably, all right, yeah, the Raptors are going to win this game. The last possession, yeah, sure, when Gary Trent Jr. made the dagger three ball, I was thinking, the Raptors just won the game. But through quarters one to four, literally until the final buzzer where Scotty Barnes tips it in, I'm not, I was never thinking the Raptors were a guaranteed lock to win this game. If they had a sturdy bench and a solid, consistent, reliable bench, you'd feel a lot better so that's really it for today man raptors nation let's try and get this video to 127 likes i thought defensively they did a really fine job um obviously nikola vucevic kind of went off and that remains the raptors biggest issue um outside of the bench is just not really having like a sturdy um traditional big man center I've seen some crazy Miles Turner trades, and by crazy, I mean the Pacers would accept that trade. Um, so I'll probably post those either later tonight or tomorrow. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the SL button. I'll see you guys later.